Welcome back to Real Steel Cars for another video. And there may be big, big changes coming to any and all Dodge Jeep Ram fans out there because the Pentastar V6 may be coming to an end. You might be looking at a new inline six engine. So let's sit here and talk about that. What's going to happen with FCA's new decision and new patents for this inline six engine. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Real Steel Cars, where we talk about all things automotive, whether it's news, trends, uh, just whatever you see happening going on out in the streets or at your dealerships, it doesn't matter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Now, ever since 2011, we've had the 3.6 Pentastar V6 in almost every Fiat Chrysler automotive vehicle out there, the Jeep Wrangler, the Dodge Durangos, the Challengers, the Chargers, you name it, it's probably in there. I've got one in my 2014 Dodge Durango and I think it's a fantastic engine. It's never given me any problems and it's pretty torquey and gets that big SUV down the road just fine. But it looks like they might be finally retiring the Pentastar V6 and going with something completely different and it looks to be an inline six. Now inline sixes were used years back. If you remember in the Jeeps, they had the four liter inline six, which was a historical motor in some aspects. It was an absolute monster. You could beat the snot out of it and it would just keep taking it and come back for more. Now we're gonna go back to an inline design where Jeep is now calling the engine code GME T6. Now that could derive from Alfa Romeo's JEM T4, which is a turbocharged four cylinder. We don't know, that's just kind of speculation. Now, FCA did file for a patent on this engine quite a while back in 2017, but just recently was approved here in April of 2019. Now that it's been approved, things are moving forward. They're talking about a turbocharged version of the inline six, as well as a twin turbocharged version of the inline six. Now I've always liked to have a naturally aspirated engine option, but let's face it, turbos are the way everybody's going these days. And to have an inline six motor, you know, will give you a little bit more of that torque than a V6. I know that's kind of an old school train of thought, but I mean, history is kind of proven itself, right? So if you're gonna take that and then throw turbos on top of it, it sounds like a pretty torquey engine. Now, the engine that they're talking about, again, the JEM T6, is said to come in both a single turbo and a twin turbo application. Uh, they're saying the twin turbo application would be more for the performance-oriented cars like the Charger Challengers, uh, more specifically the SRT models. They say the engine output for these can range anywhere from 360 horsepower up to 525 horsepower. That is an astronomical amount of power out of a straight six turbo. Although, I say that, I'm sure you guys know the Mark IV Supra who has always used the inline six turbo and can put out immense amount of power. So if this thing can be built in a tolerable way to handle a beating. I'm gonna say a beating because people are gonna beat up on these things. Um, that they can handle lots of power. This may be a pretty good option. This may be a very good move. Now, FCA did claim that it was gonna be coming with an e-booster technology. Now, that is an electronically boost controlled turbo to reduce turbo lag. Now, before all the turbo guys jump in, like, well, turbo lag is between shifts and things like that, not spool time. I'm assuming they're talking about spool time, not the boost drop off in between shifts because, well, let's face it, nobody has a manual transmission anymore. So with the automatic, it's gonna keep boost levels up. But if it's gonna be electronically controlled turbo to reduce spool time, that's gonna be really good to have. And if you can get that turbo to spool up faster, and have all that extra torque, which you know you're gonna have with the turbo, that would be a great option to have in the Jeep Wrangler. I think it would be a much better option over the Eco Diesel engine, which I did discuss in my last video, which if you haven't seen is, I'll put right up here, and in the description down below if you just wanna finish this and then go back to that later. Now, again, the inline six turbo will be very easily tuned. Getting extra power out of a turbo engine is so easy. Get a free flowing exhaust, get a new tune, and you've probably picked up over 100 horsepower. So this could be really, really good for tuners. 
I personally would love to see one of these in my Durango. If I had this option when I bought my Durango for an inline six turbo, hands down, I probably would have bought it. Unfortunately, we're still quite a few years out before seeing any of these in the uh, on the showroom floors. But SCA did state that they are working on it and are trying to get it out. And uh, the engine code name, by the way, had I not mentioned that earlier, I apologize, is Tornado. So there will be no more Pentastar. It is now a Tornado inline six turbo. Now you're going to get a lot of benefits with this engine. Fuel economy is going to get better. Massive torque from the turbo. Tunability is going to be incredible. I mean, 100 horsepower, probably easy with an exhaust and a tune. That's crazy. Now the only downfall is, all right, you put that in an SRT or say a Scat Pack or something, Challenger, Charger, you're not going to get that V8 sound. You're not going to get that, that roar or rumble under throttle. So hopefully... They can get this done right. They can get the exhaust tune just right to give it a nice aggressive tune and not some weed whacker sound. That's all I have on the new engine right now. I will keep you informed when I find out. You'll find out. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And please give the video a thumbs up. Show the channel a little support. I do greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.